Good morning, I hope you're having fun with the Inktober daily drawing challenge in ink of some sort. Uh, it could be in any sort of ink, it could be an ink pen, it could be a biro, it could be watercolour ink pens, acrylic ink pens, um, ink on a nib, you can get some beautiful coloured ink, so I'll start to show you those soon. But uh, today's um, doodle bug for Inktober 2020, uh, the um, prompt word for today is rodent. So let's have a look at the sheet that I've got ready for you today. So uh, I'll just switch the camera over. So I've got this sheet here and I've, I'll upload it into the group for everyone who uh, wants to get a hold of this. Then just there's the little diagram in there that I've drawn for you. Um, and I've called it Rattus Rattus. Uh, so anyone who wants to type gimme, and um, if you have already, don't worry, you're in there already, but if you're new and you wanna grab a copy of each of these Doodlebug pages as free downloadable, just let me know. Don't forget to decorate your number on the page. This is a number six today, and I've given you a different sort of um, diagram to design your number in. This is like a little warm-up exercise that's really good fun to do just to get your design and creativity happening. So I'm kind of in a, I do lots of stripey stripey with these things. I'm not sure why exactly. I'm in a stripey mood. So this is a bit of fun to just um, do some Decorating around this number and so you can have a little pretty number box at the side of your page. So when you put it all into your journal, um, uh, you might want to put it into a folder or a display book or something. But you can also have a bit of fun with doing little zen tangle things in here and just have some, have a, take out some time out of your day to have some lovely mindfulness. I might build a brick wall up here just for the fun of it. Anyway, I'll finish that later. So um, in this um, exercise for today, I've called it Rattus Rattus. You may or may not know that that is the scientific term of the species for a rat. So um, rats can be, some people hate rats and mice and rodents, um, but I think they're quite adorable. So I've given this little, little guy here some ears and you can just, use your creativity to draw what you think might be happening with this mouse. So I've got an idea in mind for what I'm going to draw here. Um, I don't, I'm, I'm sort of a bit, I don't really want to draw um, too much because I want you to invent your own thing to do, but <laughs> this is like a little mama mouse or maybe it's um, papa mouse all dressed up in an apron uh, so you just got to imagine some sort of scene where um, this is her hat from behind. And maybe she's doing some cooking or maybe it's, you could remember, it doesn't have to be Mama, Mama Mouse who's doing the cooking, but um, could be Papa Mouse dressed up in a nice apron. And think about the scene that might be around this mouse. So I'm imagining there's kind of like um, saucepans hanging up here. So we're looking at the stove. So I'm going to just draw some little saucepans hanging up on here. Maybe there's some spoons hanging up as well. And she's cooking up some cheese fondue. 
I don't know. <laughs> I make this up as I go along, you know. So any part of the pale drawing that I put in there, you can accept or discard. So I've done it really pale so that you can decide whether you're going to go with those lines or not. Maybe there's a little baby mouse here. Very hungry baby mouse. There. Waiting for dinner. Very hungry. <laughs> so it's up to you when you're doing something like this you can make up a complete scene if you want to or you can just um, I might have some fun this afternoon maybe just doing a beautiful drawing of a close-up of a beautiful furry little mouse's face when they look really really cute so um, that's the kind of the general idea for today have some fun. I don't know if you're aware, but you don't have to do a ratus ratus or a mouse. There's so many different types of rodents. Do you know that squirrels are rodents and the capybara is a rodent and what else? Oh, there's all sorts of different little, a porcupine apparently. Uh, so there's lots and lots of um, different species. You don't have to do a rat. <laughs> Make sure I've got a pan on the stove here and some steam coming out of it. <laughs> so have some fun with today's little challenge and get your pen in your hand and get drawing. It doesn't have to be complicated like this. You could just do a little funny mouse's face. If you're a beginner, just a little outline of ears and eyes and nose, whatever you want. Or if you're an advanced artist, you could do a, a realism drawing using cross hatching and fur of the mouse um, or any other sort of rodent that you like. So that's the fun today. Have fun with that one. And I'll see you tomorrow for Doodlebug number seven. Thanks for watching.